Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video, my friends, today is, I think, the last video of the year, because, yes, I'm gonna upload this one December 31st, and, yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful year, uh, my year has been amazing because of you, so thank you so much for everything, the likes, the dislikes, the comments, the views, the subscribers, you know, you guys are completely amazing, and thank you so, so much for everything. We grew a lot here this year, and I am just, just very grateful and very thankful to you guys because of that so keep tuned in for the 50k subscriber special i will be giving away things but not gpus because you know shipping <laughs> anyways today my friends i'm gonna be testing the gt 1030 of course and in rust that's why you clicked this video probably i'm not too sure maybe and of course as usual i am running the ryzen 7 3700x with 16 gigs of ram guys if you want to play rust you don't need the 3700x of course first of all you know what you'll need though is actually the ram because as you can see right now we are running the game at the lowest settings possible as i'm about to show you and we are already eating 11 gigabytes of ram and the full 2 gigabytes of vram that the gt1030 has this is the gddr5 version as well so i'm gonna be testing this one at 1080p 900p and 720p uh, starting off with the lowest settings in the game so everything turned down to its minimum image effects everything is turned off and experimental as well and then i'm probably gonna use some medium settings you know because we are already seeing pretty decent fps at 1080p with the lowest settings which is very nice to see by the way i was really kind of expecting the 1030 to not do as well here at 1080p for some reason but it looks like i was wrong and it's getting like 60 plus fps or at least like an average of 60 plus fps so uh, i am apparently in a little island over here so i'm gonna try to die and spawn in somewhere else yeah we're gonna go there because there's a ton of threes right there oh uh, we're probably not gonna go there um yeah that that's probably not gonna happen i'm bleeding quite a bit <laughs> Well, all right then. Hopefully I'll spawn really close to a forest now. Please, game. Just... Yeah, that, that's good. This is good. Okay, so vomit trees are back, by the way, because of the lowest settings of this game, of course. I'm gonna start counting our averages and 1% lows. And now let's just take a little stroll here. Enjoy the beautiful... <sighs> Enjoy the the graphics here uh, at 1080p with the GT 1030. At least the game is running smoothly, you know. 50 plus FPS at least. It's not bad, you know. So 60 something FPS on average, I think. Uh, we're in the mid 50s to high 50s sometimes, low 50s. It's not too bad. You could definitely play like this. The game is perfectly playable like this but of course nobody should play like this because look at those trees you can't actually spot people very well like this because well the the, the extremely low res uh trees actually don't allow you to spot anybody if they're for example right there this is not good i i don't like this okay so <laughs> So, unless you really, really want those smooth 60 or close to 60 FPS on average, even in, like, forest areas, uh, you shouldn't play like this, and I don't really recommend you to play like this. Look at those shadows, by the way. It looks awful, but of course we've already seen these graphics with all of the graphics cards that I tested so far. Oh, gosh, look at the draw distance of the... <laughs> It's insane. This is insane. I I actually love that Rust developers did this to their game and allow you to drop the resolutions this far because that just means that you can play it in very low-end GPUs and still have decent FPS as we've seen with the GT710, for example. That's a pretty decent video as well. Go, go watch it if you haven't already. What I'm gonna do now is set it to like medium-ish settings, which I feel our medium so i'm gonna put this on three over here shadow quality on one i'm gonna leave this one like that and maybe like i'm gonna do like 300 here on the shaders 
like 1000 here on the draw distance, shadow distance like 200 or close to that, uh, like for an isotropic filtering, I'm not going to be messing with this one, let's enable grass displacement, and these I'm just going to do like one third of the way there, so yeah, these are my medium settings I would say, maybe here I would also do some sun shafts here, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so mediums, oh my gosh, the game looks beautiful uh, compared to what it was before at least but now we're much closer to 30 fps so if you are after a 30 fps experience at 1080p well it seems like you can still have that we are very close to 30 fps so if you lock the fps to 30 you might not notice those drops into the high 20s i don't know yeah we we dropped already to 27 so that's not too good but it's not too bad as well. I played this game on an FX 6350 back in the days and I had, had drops to like 25 and 24 like we're seeing right now and I could still play the game, you know, but but I, I don't really recommend these settings. So if you want to play on medium settings, I say yeah, drop the resolution further than this or drop like the shadow settings and stuff like that. But just leave the graphical quality, like the overall quality slider, leave it at 3 because at 2 or 1 it, the trees will look like vomit anyways. What the heck? There's one guy over there by the way. Shall we do this guys? Shall we do this? How did you not die? What the heck? <laughs> Okay, I killed one guy here in Rust. Oh my gosh, it's the first time I think in a video of me playing Rust that I've actually killed somebody. So let's see what the guy had. Maybe the same things. That... Whoa, whoa, what the heck? What are you doing here? Whoa, what the? What happened? What is going on? <laughs> Was there like a bed? Oh my god, okay guys, so that's it for medium settings, I guess. You can see that we can actually get uh, 40 FPS sometimes, but in forest areas you will drop from 30, so I don't really recommend it. So let's do 900p this time around. We're gonna be testing, of course, lowest settings at 900p in a little bit, but yeah, okay, let's leave it like this. These are the medium settings, I will say, and let's see. So... Alright, everything looks a little bit more blurry, but it's not too bad. If you have a native 1080p monitor, it's gonna look better than this. Uh, of course, you, you are watching a YouTube video, so there's not much of a difference anyways. But here in my 27-inch 1440p monitor, 1080p already doesn't look that good. So 900p just looks a little bit uh, worse than that. But if you have a native 1080p monitor, you'll still have a good experience here and medium settings provides you with a 30 plus FPS experience here at 900p and that's what you're probably looking for if you want to play this game with the GT 1030. Let's see if we can actually find somebody. There's some people shooting the helicopter there so there's a, a horse there. Can we find somebody? I really wanted to go there. Oh boy, oh boy, what the heck, where is he? I think he's there. I think that's like a base or something. I'm not gonna go that way anymore. Uh, what to do, guys? What to do? I'm not too sure right now, but our FPS are pretty decent, at least. Around 40 to 50 FPS here around uh, a forest area. I would say this is a forest area. What the heck is this? Is this the, the chopper? What the hell? Well, how is the chopper hitting me from there? What the heck's going on, guys? And why is the chopper hitting me instead of the people that are actually killing it? I... I am... I have no words. I have no clue. <laughs> so let's just go away. You know what? The experience here in Rust with the 1030 at medium settings was probably the same experience or around the same experience that I got with the GTX 760 and FX 6350 back in the days, like in 2015, 2014. And I liked and enjoyed to play the game with like 40 something FPS on average. And it even dropped to like the mid 20s and low 20s sometimes. So I would have no problems playing like this. Of course, our 1% lows are much better than in that system because of the single core performance and Rust was even worse optimized than it actually is today even though the latest updates actually hurt the performance by quite a bit because a year ago I was getting a little bit better FPS coming out of this game with something like the GTX 1060 I used to get like 60 FPS uh, at 1080p max settings and now I get like 40 so 
The 1030 did a fantastic job. I would have no problems playing like this, as I told you already. So let's drop the settings now to... Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't... Oh boy, I think it crashed. No? Yep, it did crash. God damn it. Why? This is like... This always happens, I think. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are back here in our favorite Rusty Gold server. And now we're at minimum settings and uh, 900p, of course. So let's do this. We should be seeing 60 plus FPS all of the time here. If we don't, I'll actually be surprised. Okay, so that's a massive stutter. <laughs> just because I said that, you know, the game decided, well, I just proved this guy wrong. But let's do this, guys. We're at the 100 FPS mark, so that's pretty insane for a GT 1030. But of course, the graphics here. Why is like the the, the character like sideways or what the heck is going on? No, it's it's good now. It's no now now it's it's tilted to the other side. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Anyways, we're very close to 60 FPS right now. I wasn't expecting it to drop into the 70s. Actually, our run percent lows are of course in the 50s for some reason. Not really sure why because uh, we haven't seen the FPS drop that much. But still, uh, I think this one counts as a forest area, like a forest vomit area here. And uh, we're seeing pretty decent FPS. I will say so in the 70s mid 70s to the 80s sometimes that's good you know that's pretty damn decent of course the graphics still look awful and you will have a hard time spotting people like this because of the trees of course and yeah if it wasn't for the trees i would actually oh my gosh that's a big stutter there again probably because of the v ram oh come on come over here boy where are you going where are you okay nice we got this so at least i can't crash the horse here in Rust. It's not like Red Dead Redemption, otherwise I'd be dead, maybe. Or the horse might be dead. Now, next thing to do is drop it to 720p. And we are back here. 720p, everything's turned down to its lowest still. Of course, we're gonna get above 60 FPS all of the time using these settings. And you will actually need a beefy CPU to get these kind of FPS, like a very strong single core performance CPU, like an i5 4690K overclocked or something like that, should achieve 100 something FPS on average, like we're seeing right now. But you know, you shouldn't play like this. It's uh, maybe if you have a 140. 4 hertz monitor for some reason with the GT 1030 if you play like CSGO you might have that but I don't recommend it and you shouldn't play like this of course everything looks so bad you know in this game you should be able to enjoy the graphics because the graphics look pretty damn decent at least on medium settings or high settings but I would only play like this if you had something like a GT 710, GT 730, a GT series card that it's not the 1030 basically, even the 1030 DDR4, if you do have that it's probably gonna perform around the same as a GT 730, GDDR5, so, you know, um, let's switch horses by the way because that one is tired, so, hi Roach, this is not Roach by the way, okay, oh, I'm hearing something, what the hell is a wolf guys? Okay, it's a wolf right there running towards us. He doesn't give up, so let's just run away from him. Our 1% lows are really good at 70. Of course, it didn't drop to 70, but, you know, it's still the same thing that I said before. Uh, 109 FPS on average, that's insane. But, of course, considering that the game looks like this, it, it's nothing special, to be honest. Alright, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for 720p with the lowest settings. These were the medium settings that we just tested, so, yeah. Let's go with this. It's still not enough to get this 60 FPS at 720p, so maybe just mess around with some shadow settings and stuff like that, and you will get there definitely here with uh, the 720p resolution. That shouldn't be a problem to achieve 60 plus FPS with decent graphical fidelity, you know. 720p kind of looks a little bit pixelated, but of course I'm using that 144p but no, <laughs> 1440p, 27 inch monitor, so 720p, it's like four times lower than 1440p, actually, pixel count wise, so yeah, that's why it looks really pixelated, it looks sharp, by the way, because it's exactly four times less 
the pixel count so every four pixels in my screen makes one single pixel at 720p and everything looks sharp still but if it came to that I would prefer to play like this over 1080p with uh, low settings because of course the trees don't look like vomit and there's textures and there's more detail in everything here in the world of rust when playing at 720p with medium settings than at 1080p with low settings that's not always the case in games but it is the case here with rust and you know what guys i would probably play like this to be honest we're getting a, a 60 plus fps average here at 720p with the medium settings the game looks okay there's a few stutters here and there our ram usage is actually approaching uh, 11 gigabytes you know it's around 11 gigabytes not approaching it's actually surpassing 11 gigabytes of, of ram usage so keep in mind that you'll need at least 12 gigabytes to not see tons of stuttering in this game and I do have this game installed on an SSD so that helps things out a little bit as well in terms of stuttering and game load times which are insane in this one but well if you have an SSD install it on an SSD if you have the GT 1030 make sure if you have at least 12 gigs of RAM to work with because if you have 8 gigs of RAM from what I've seen here lately people in my videos have been commenting that with 8 gigs of RAM the game is just a stuttering mess so I would not recommend you to play this game with 8 gigs of RAM in 2020 2019 it's yeah that's it for the video i think thank you so much to everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was a massive stutter as well uh, what is he doing right now what the heck <laughs> again i want to thank you oh oh boy oh boy all right i got him again guys i want to thank you all for the massive support that you guys have been giving me and the channel have a wonderful new year's eve and stuff like that and I'll see you next year. <laughs> and hopefully next year is going to be as good as this one or even better if possible. You know, if that's possible, because I, I don't know, guys, I, I wasn't really expecting to get uh, almost 50k subs in 2019. I was actually expecting to get like 25k. We've, we've massively surpassed my expectations and I have to thank you again. I know you, you might be tired of hearing me thanking you guys, but thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart so that said if you have enjoyed the video leave it a like if you aren't subscribed yet please do so and hit that notification bell to not miss a video and i'll see you in the next one i love you all bye, -bye.